Hi, I'm Phil Mint George, chef and culinary manager for Highlander Food Service, here to show you how to get the perfect crispy skin Arctic char. I thawed this portion in the fridge, which is the best practice for this product. Now, in order to get that skin nice and crispy, you want to remove any excess moisture from the surface. I'm just going to pat it dry with a paper towel. Now's a perfect time to season. I'm going to use a little salt. and a little bit of pepper. Now, the skin of Arctic char is really what separates it from its close cousins, salmon and trout. You'll notice that the skin's a little bit darker, but it's also a lot thicker, so it takes a little bit more care to get it crispy. Another trick to get it nice and crispy is to use a heavy bottom pan. This will help distribute the heat evenly, and it's also gonna help retain the heat once the pan gets hot. Speaking of hot pans, I've got one right here. It's been heating up to about medium high heat with a little bit of vegetable oil. It's at the perfect temperature. We're just going to take our portion of Arctic char and lay it in nice and carefully away from us so that the oil doesn't splash. So our Arctic char has been cooking in the pan for about a minute or so and at this point it's a good time to turn our heat down just slightly. Common mistakes are moving the fish around too early, which can cause the skin to tear. Another common mistake is having the heat too high, or not having enough oil in the pan, which will cause the skin to burn. All right, so the Arctic char has been cooking for a few minutes now, and when you start seeing that nice thin layer of brown just above the skin line, you know it's ready to come out of the pan. So I'm gonna take it out, put it onto an oven tray, and into the oven it goes, skin side up. Got one that's ready. And just like salmon and trout, probably best to cook this to about medium, okay? Now I'm gonna pop this on our plate, and I've got here a sauce of roasted yellow pepper and sweet corn, a little bit of uh, mini red potatoes, and some green beans. All we gotta do now is top it with a little bit of micro sprouts, and that's ready to go to the table. But don't think that's the only way you can do Arctic char. It's a very versatile fish. Check out these other options. How about a grilled Arctic char with organic baby kale salad and peaches? Or how about a pan-seared Arctic char topped with the avocado salsa that sits on a bed of grilled sweet potatoes? 